Hello and welcome to a brand new Synth Sunset walkthrough with me, The Unfinished. Today we're back with Zebra and we've got uh, a new sound set with 180 patches for both Zebra 2 and Zebra HZ. Now this Synth Sound set is called Archangel and it's something a little bit different. It's a little bit quirky, a little bit oddball, um, unusual, uneasy and dare I say it's interesting sounds um, with uh, a real sort of quirky edge, I guess. Um, it's inspired by the work of artists such as uh, Cristobal Tapia de Vere and his wonderful TV soundtracks to things like Humans, Utopia and National Treasure. And also um, Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, um, their kind of stuff for the social network and Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. So we're looking at really sort of avant-garde and unusual inspirations. Um, so there's a mixture of dark and light, and there's digital, there's analog, and there's even organic. Um, there's a bit of everything in there, uh, but all of it has this sort of oddness to it. But anyway, let's play through some sounds, and hopefully you'll get a gist for what that oddness is like. So this is just me holding down a three note chord on this up. Lots of little interesting movement and frequencies going on. What have we got here then? So there's a few sort of physically modeled kind of vibes going on in, in this handset, which Zebra's really good for. Love it. <laughs> Lots of delay on that one. So we get glassy and manatee sounds. alongside the more synthy stuff that I'm sure we'll, we'll find at some point. So this sound set's really become a kind of a home for uh, lots of sounds that didn't kind of fit in any of my other um, releases in some ways, things that uh, you know, sounds that I really like, but thought, well, oh, they're not quite right for this. Um, Zebra Archangel has kind of given them a place to, to thrive. Let's try the module, shall we? There's a good amount of um, distortion and grunge and dirtiness on the mod wheel and also the usual sort of filter opening and, and closing kind of vibes. So they're kind of sounds you can't trust. That's how I like to describe them. But they're not too in your face, which is which is um, something I like. So sometimes you can you can do dark and distorted sounds, and they're very sort of punchy and right up in, in your face, and you're going ah, that's taking over everything. These are very much sort of um, you know you put a collection of them together and sit them in the in the background subtly and. You know, the vibe just sort of floats into this sort of, ah, this is making me feel slightly uneasy. I don't like this. There's, <laughs> there's a tension I can't quite put by my finger on. I think there's also, so, I mean, there's, because it's inspired by the, the humans and, and utopia, 
a TV series. I don't know how many of you actually are, are familiar with them, but there's a there's a very sort of otherworldliness to them. There's something that's like this. This is something that's not. It seems familiar, but there's something not quite right. So let's move on to some bases. character in that mod wheel. Apologies if you can hear some drilling in the background of this um, this walkthrough, but um, my neighbours are forever renovating. Very rude of them to do it on a Saturday morning as well. This is very deep. <laughs> Let's try the module. This one. <laughs> Fun. Super cop. Everyone likes super cop, right? Probably not. A bit farty. Farty cop. Now we've got some keys, which is always a good option uh, opportunity to uh, do something a bit weird. Eternal nonsense. I like that one, it's got sort of many elements to it. That's one of those sort of synth sounds that has that sort of slight physical modeling thing going on, which makes you think, uh, I don't quite understand. <laughs> So there are a lot of sound. I mean, I like I like that particular sound because um, it's it really blends everything together. It's got so it, it has that sort of analog feel because it's, the filter's rich and the pitch is a bit wandering, and then it's got that sharpness of digital, and then it's got that organic element with the sort of the metallics and the and the, the sort of the glassiness coming out, which is it's a really good blend. It really gets to the heart of what this this sound set's about, really. There goes the tuning. <laughs> Love it. Actually, that I'm gonna just I'm just gonna do something a bit crazy. Bad, let behave. I'm just gonna whack this. I just wanna see what that sounds like if it's sort of given the pad treatment. I wonder. Ugly as sin. I like it. Now I've got some loops, which um, again, a sort of a mixture of bright stuff and dark stuff, really. But all of it having this sort of playfulness, I think. Let's try the module. Nice. 
mais. So I think this is this is one of those sentences where I've had the room to put a lot of reverb on low percussive stuff. Which sometimes makes it a bit sort of muddy and weird, but the way I've designed these sounds means that um, I can put reverb on sort of low sounds and because lots of frequencies are being pushed around that it, it kind of gels together quite nicely. We've got mallets on this uh, particular sound set, which is, um, more mallets than usual. So if you're a fan of mallets, hooray! But they're all very synthy mallets, I like. So it's a bit like finding sort of a classic 90s rompler and then hitting it as hard as you can with a hammer for a while and then seeing what it sounds like after that. A lot of detail in this. One of my favourite sounds, that one. So you can wander into sort of brighter, more ambient um, realms, but because there's still that sort of uneased to all the sounds, it, there's still something that feels slightly wrong about it. It's very sort of... Let's try pushing the module. Nice filter, we like that one. Some fun harmonics. Mmm, yummy. Again, you've got that sort of lushness, that sort of a bit analog, a bit digital. Lots of little details going on in there. You can hear some little plucky bits. But again, it's got that kind of otherworldliness that makes you go, Ugh. <laughs> So there is quite a bit of detail in these sounds, but I, I tried to keep it not too obtrusive. It's very subtle, so you get quite a lot out of very few patches. I mean, in my demo tracks that I've written, I've written two demo tracks for this. Um, I think there's very rarely anything that's using more than about five or six sounds at any one time. Just because these sounds do deliver a lot. Nice bit of tension. I like that reverb. Mm. 
So I think this 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 answer is is a, it's definitely going to be a good one for sci-fi stuff, but particularly if your sci-fi stuff is um. Yeah, you're not trying to go down that whole Vangelis Tangerine Dream route. It's very much a sound that's tried to avoid cliché. Have I been successful? Only you can judge me. Authoritarian dystopia pad. Okay, so we'll move on to the soundscapes. So this section there was obviously going to be a bit sort of tension city. Let's try the mod wheel on this one. You've got elements of it pitch shifting around and then you've got that sort of slightly ugly insistent constant sine wave note at the top. Super duper. a little bit more weird on the, the mod wheel on this sound set. I mean, essentially, you know, the aim is to freak you out. But you can freak people out either with evil intent, or you can try and freak them out with kindness. You know, when someone's being nice to you and you feel that they shouldn't be, and it feels wrong. <laughs> Sequences. Some metallic and glassy stuff in here. There's a good sort of mixture of digital, organic, and synthy doodars going on. So we've got XY pad stuff on here as well as the modulation. There's always filter and the, uh, the space sort of stuff. And then 
mucking around in those different areas as well, seeing what works. It's a very sort of metallic, organic, and melody stuff going on here. But with that sort of synthy vibe. So it, has you, it leaves you with this sort of sense of the uncanny, I like to think. So it doesn't sound like a synth, but you know it is. I guess it kind of follows that whole kind of android th sort of thing, doesn't it? Of, they look like humans, but you know they're not. What will? Fun then, let's have a look. Some nice little subtle variations there. I'm gonna go mad with the comb filters. <laughs> Right, this one almost seems sensible now. Let's play it like an up. Okay, and then we'll play this last sound here, shall we? go that's the zebra 2 version now you think zebra 2 is usually the normal version isn't it well let's see how utterly screwed up the zebra hz version is then um bring to the front i'll move it over here slightly okay so now the hz version obviously it gives you a slightly more analog vibe a darker vibe with those diva filters etc um and that's where i've pushed it really i've tried to push it into darker um more analog realms. Um, so we'll kick off with a bit of arpiness. Some very Resna Ross mallets there. So you see, there is a playful quality to some of these now. Which I think is always true of Cristobal Tapia de Vier's stuff. Part of that sort of ugliness actually comes from a, a lightness of touch sometimes, which can be quite fun. And into the bass lines. We're playing different sounds to the ones you heard in the 
December 2 version, just so you get a f more of a feel of everything. Because I can't play through all 180 sounds, that would be mental. Okay, and then bases. drum, one single drum. There you go. <laughs> right, some keys. Can't be trusted. Unfunk. damaged. A lovely weird one, isn't it? Mmm. Nice staccato vibes. <laughs> oh my goodness, the the, <laughs> the music box from hell. Alright, so we've got some uh, more drum stuff. Noisy and echoey. stuff. So basically, hold any notes down for long enough on some of these things and they suddenly start wandering off in different directions going, ah, oh, this is not what you expected, is it? And mallets. I just, right, I'm just going to play. 
I was playing the same little riff over and over there, and it was it was going weird. So I was going to keep playing the one note. Yeah, so it's got a nice sort of round robin vibe to the weirdness. You think you know what it's going to be, and then it just sort of does something a bit weird. Machine gone bad. Even though there's quite a lot of sense of space on these sounds, I've, I've been very careful not to add too much reverb. And keep a sort of intimacy to them. after all the sounds of that. Darker side of soundscapes, annoying Facebook group. <laughs> We've all joined them. Terrified robot ghosts. <laughs> little bit, huh? Little bit. Yes. 
Fairy's hand. Now I do recommend not playing these sounds in the dark at night alone in the house, because they will scare you. No idea what's going on there, but I like it. Expecting that actually. Echo, echo, echo. So as you can see, there's a real sort of emphasis on trying to come up with sounds you just haven't heard before. Play chords. You know, I'm not convinced this can sound better playing chords. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fun. Okay, I'll trust myself next time. Full of weird. This is no less weird. Sort of loops along apologetically, that one, doesn't it? Play many notes, sorry. Okay, um, let's, let's play um, many notes. Attacky, but I don't like it nonetheless. Okay, and then one little synthy thing. Interesting. Well, there you have it. That is Zebra Archangel. Um, it's a weird one, um, but it's a lot of fun. And I think if you're just looking for something, you go, I, I just need something a bit odd for this to just give me an atmosphere that is going to make people feel unhappy and weird. And so I'll just pop a few Archangel patches in there and away we go. So, yes. So it's 180 patches um, 
for each sound set. Now remember, if you do buy the Dark Edition, you do get both versions. So please don't buy both the Dark Edition and the Regular Edition, because if you do that, you're going to have the Regular Edition twice, and I don't want you to do that, because then I have to do things like refunds, and it's so boring. Anyway, very few people do it these days, so that's good. Um, yes, so lots of interesting and weird sounds. Um, it's going to be out on Friday, which I think is the 29th. Oh my god, that's Brexit Day! Hell's teeth, although we're not actually leaving now, are we? Really? Probably. I mean, even if we are leaving, we're not really leaving. Or are we? I don't know anymore! Somebody tell me. And somebody tell me that we're not leaving, because that's what I actually want to hear. Anyway, well, how did Brexit sneak into this? Oh well. Never mind, this is a very Brexit sound set, actually, isn't it? <laughs> It's a bit sort of, oh shit, everything's going wrong. Uh, and uh, I don't know why. Um, anyway, because of razors. Anyway, um, hope you've enjoyed listening to this and you like the sounds and you wish to purchase them, play with them lovingly. Remember, don't do it in the dark alone. Do something else in the dark alone. I don't want to know what. You can keep that to yourself. Okay, so thanks for watching. And I'll be back with a brand new synth next time. <gasps> One that I haven't released any sounds for before. How exciting. It is exciting. Don't pretend it isn't. I know you're excited. We're going back to that darkness and aloneness again, aren't we? Okay, anyway, got weird at the end, um, just like the sound set. Lovely. Perfect, even. Ta-ta for now. Love you lots. Bye!